Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm back in New York. I just got back from Rome, not yesterday, but the day before. Today's Wednesday and I got back on Monday. So yeah, I worked, I had work yesterday and then I have work again today. I'm filming this before I work this morning because I thought that we should just have like a little bit of a catch up since going to Rome, like what's the update, what's going on? And then also a little, like maybe a fun little, like what I bought in Rome haul. So uh, yeah, so like just quick update. So yeah, I got back, I came back to the apartment and I have to say like, I loved Rome so much. Like I, I can't believe I had never been there before. <laughs> like of, out of all the, you know, places that I have been, it's funny to me that I never had been to Rome. Um, I had been to like Milan and Florence and Tuscany and Jupiter, but um, I had never been to Rome. So this was like such a big deal for me. And it was also really great to spend 10 days in one place. Cause usually when I travel, like for example, when we went to Paris, that is still my all time favorite trip I've ever been on. <laughs> but for, for example, when we went to Paris, we were like in Paris for four days and then we went to Bordeaux for like three days and then we went to the south of France. So we were only in one place for a couple days versus in Rome, I was just, just in Rome for 10 days and then Venice for the last, um, like the weekend. So it gave me a lot of time to just fully explore that one city. And by the time that I was leaving, I felt like I knew the city by heart. Like it was so walkable and easy to get around and felt very safe. And yeah, I was just like walking around without a map. Like, yeah, I know where I am. I know how to get back to the apartment. I don't know. I mean, people keep asking me like, mostly like my coworkers and stuff or like friends, like what was your favorite part of the trip? And it's like, I loved all of the, like attractions that I saw like the Colosseum and the Sistine Chapel like the Vatican um, and everything like that but the thing that I really just loved the most was kind of like feeling an ambiance the vibe of the city which was like so relaxed and just kind of like actually taking the time to enjoy life Versus I feel like when I'm in the US, everything is very rushed and it's very work focused and it's not as fun. Versus I feel like in Rome, just in general, a lot of the people there, it's like they take the time to sit down and enjoy their coffee. They actually take a break from work. Maybe they're smoking <laughs> while they're doing it, but they're actually taking a break. They're letting, the, they're allowing themselves to relax. They'll go out for lunch. They have more outdoor seating than we do and they stay up a lot later and they just have like all of these beautiful attractions people are just outside sitting and enjoying them like one night we went down to the coliseum and we took a bottle of champagne with us and we just sat kind of on the stoop looking at the coliseum and just having a nice conversation um like at night and just all throughout the city there were people doing that like there are people who would just sit on the spanish steps at night and I kind of felt the same way in when we were in France too was that like in certain parts of the city like especially where there's a beautiful view people would just sit there and like enjoy and I feel like we don't just take the time to stop and look as much in the US so so yeah it just kind of made me feel like oh, I really love this place and I wonder if you live there if that stuff gets old or if you just can continue doing that um, so if you do live there, let me know because I would really like to know. Um, and part of me, well, a, a pretty big part of me still does want to do at least like a couple months living abroad. I mean, I already have. I studied abroad in college, but that was in New Zealand, um, which I absolutely loved. I love New Zealand and Australia, but um, I want to, you know, spend time somewhere in, well, really Paris. It's got to be Paris. So I want to figure out how I can make that work. <sighs> visas, visas and stuff are difficult after you turn 30, I've heard, and I'm turning 30 at the end of this year. So yeah, I'm going to have to figure out logistically how I can do that, but we shall see. It's a dream that I'm not giving up on, you guys. Um, so <laughs> I'll, try, 
try to make that work somehow. But anyways, yes. So that's the update. I came back here, apartments, still the apartment. There are some new pillows and some new furniture arrangements <laughs> since I was gone. I'll just show you guys really quickly. <laughs> so, oh, it'll be around. Here is the apartment. So we got this like console table before I left and I wasn't so sure about it. We were originally going to put it over here. This is my old mattress, which I'm going to be getting rid of. We were planning to put it here, like, because this is the entrance. So first we were thinking here, a little console table, a little mirror, you know, a place where you can kind of put your keys down, like something nice like that. Then we tried to put it over here. Really, it was just kind of too big for the space. And then um, Lyle and his stepmom, who is the architect, decided that actually it looked good here. And I totally agree. So, yeah, um, like it there. So we have this. These I just bought when I got back. I like immediately went to the grocery store and picked up flowers. And then this, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet or not, but this was inspired by Laron, <laughs> who is the one who is doing the painting for us, which hopefully we're going to be picking up this weekend. But it's really cool. It looks cooler at night, but let me just turn it on for you. Um, yeah, it looks like that, so it's like very cool. I've, the kind of aesthetic that we're going for in this apartment is like New York City modern chic. So yeah, I feel like that's really cool. And when we have the art piece up here, it's going to be huge. Like a very big art piece above the couch is going to just pull it all together. So yeah, so while I was gone, these are the pillows. So actually, these are the ones that I picked out. They're like, a, like an olive green from CB2. They're this kind of neutral kind of cream color on the back and then they found this one which is so soft and comfy it's like <clears throat> super soft so there's that and then kind of the opposite of olive green is this like burnt orange color and they found this one which uh, and and then that one which goes with this one which I was not so sure about at first I was a little bit like hmm because it's not what I would initially go for you know what I mean it's just like you guys know what my style is my style is like <laughs> pink and girly and everything like that so for me it was like whoa but I keep trying to tell myself like this is an adult apartment like you know like as an adult you can't really make your apartment pink I mean yes you can but in my adult life like is that what I want or do I want to be sophisticated like and I kind of want to be sophisticated like I actually really do like this so yeah that's that's the sitch but I'm not like totally going against myself and like getting a black couch or you know like something super dark like I feel like this is all still in my same kind of color family so yes there's that and then yeah, that's pretty much it. This is still the same. Um, we got these. I found these on Etsy. And then I got these little bunny tails to put them in. I thought that that looked kind of cool. A little artsy. Modern. So now I'm moving on to what I bought in Rome. Well, first thing I already showed you guys. You already know about this. But I got the y this YSL bag. It is a little under the shoulder bag it's so cute it's like this i don't want to say light gray it's between like a light gray and a cream kind of a color and then it has the logo in the gold which just kind of pops down here you undo that and then the inside is like this so it's super nice i felt like it was just chic i saw it on all the parisian girls and i just felt like it was good for kind of either going out at night or just like a casual kind of a day thing either way um yeah, it was very versatile and I liked it and I thought that it was chic and it was pretty inexpensive as far as designer bags go So I feel like maybe that's also why a lot of people have it because it's like, yeah, why not? Um, it's cute. It looks cute on your little table when you're having, you know, brunch or at a cafe or having dinner All right, and then I did a little shopping as far as clothes go So there was one night where we were like decided that we were going to go to a rooftop and I kind of realized that a lot of the clothes that I packed were for daytime and I didn't really 
think about nighttime that much. I had packed one dress, but I had already worn it and it was so hot in Rome that I was like kind of sweaty in it and I didn't want to wear it again. So I was like, okay, I need to go shopping. Um, even just for daytime stuff too. So I got a couple things. First was this skirt. These are from, this next couple things are from Zara, which I thought was really cute. It's actually a skirt, so it has shorts and a skirt. And I wore this to a rooftop one of the nights. And yeah, it's like shorts. It's got shorts in the back. And I don't know what else to say about it. It's just really cute. I like that the belt is totally matching with the skirt itself. And then I got a pink one. This one doesn't have a belt, but um, it does have a slit in the front, which I thought was cute also. And then it also has shorts in the back. So even though they're super short, they are technically short, so. There's that, and then for tops to go with that, I also found this one, Zara. I must have tried on every single white crop top that Zara had that day. I like went into the dressing room, decided that I liked these two, and then I was like, I need a top to go with it. And so I like walked all around the whole store again, and then grabbed a couple things, tried them on, and I landed on this one. This is a asymmetrical top. So yeah, it's cute, and it has a little, keyhole like out on the shoulder and it's cropped um the only thing about it is that it's kind of like a tank top like when you see it closely it is ribbed like that so it's a little informal which is something i was a little bit worried about but you really can't see it unless you're close up and at night you can't really tell and then this was something else i picked up more so for the daytime from and other stories it was in their sales section it is a cropped like sweater almost and even though it was super hot in rome it didn't make me super hot wearing this and it looked really cute so yeah i wore that the day that i went to the borghese museum i wore that top with these shorts also from zara these are like almost like a faux like a faux silky kind of material but they're sort of like stretchy at the waist although like stretchy but not I don't know <laughs> and then they have a button here and they're just kind of flowy I saw girls wearing this type of thing so yeah I don't know I got them because I thought that it looked cute just like it looked a little sophisticated like this plus this plus my sunglasses and then also from Zara I got a little blazer this was not something I wore there because it was way too hot but I had been looking for a cropped tweed blazer like this for a long time that wasn't going to be like too much on the shoulders because some of them like the shoulder pads it's just way too much um so I thought like for the fall time that this would be really cute in New York and yeah it's like tweed like this it's kind of you know Chanel vibes so I thought that that was really cute and also funny enough it looked really cute with this skirt like this and this together it was like a cute little barbie outfit <laughs> so maybe i'll wear that sometime here we'll see okay and then other two fashiony things that i got were this hat so i'm not a hat wearer but if you saw the venice vlog or the, the rome plus venice vlog when i was in venice i bought this on a whim at one of the stores because I forgot to bring my sunglasses when we left the hotel and we were out for the day and the sun was like beating down on us it was very hot and so Jessica actually helped me pick out this hat it's cute it's two-toned it's white and then also more of like a beige and then it has a bow on the back so we both thought that this was really cute and my thing with wearing hats was I thought okay i can't wear hats because then i'd have to wear my hair down and then i have to wear my hair extensions and then it's a whole thing but actually we both realized that if i had my hair back in it like a ponytail like a side pony that it still looked cute in a hat so tip for anyone with fine hair or anyone that just doesn't want to have to wear their hair down if they're wearing a hat you can do it in a little side pony like that and it still looks cute and then with that we found these sunglasses so also at the same place that I got this hat <laughs> and originally I saw they had these same ones in a, like a white white and I tried them on and I thought that it was cute but we'd both decided that it was a little bit too like harsh like stark with the white so these ones are like a kind of like a neutrally sort of a like beige color and with the hat we were just like this is so chic <laughs> we were like this is giving like I don't know 
something vibes. Let, tell, tell me what you guys think. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we really liked it. So this was nice to walk around Venice in. And I also felt like my shoulder, it like, it blocked me from the sun. You know, it blocked my neck from the sun. It kind of blocked my shoulders, but not really. I still got burned on my shoulders. Um, but yeah, so I thought that this was cute. I'll try to find, I'm sure that they sell these on Amazon or something. So I will leave a link to anything that I can down below. And this hat again was super cute. All right, and then beauty products. So I love French beauty. I love the French pharmacies. Um, Italy's pharmacies are also pretty much just as good. Not like as good, I don't think, but like they're practically on the same exact level. So um, obviously I rated the stores. <laughs> so first thing that I got, they were having a sale on this brand new. So, um, and I saw this, this is like huge. This is a micellar water with like a rose kind of floral water in it. So use this for removing makeup with like a cotton pad and then I use cleanser afterwards. The woman the pharmacist was saying that this is like no rinse, that you don't have to use a cleanser afterwards, but that's just the way that I do it. Um, maybe if I had a really lazy night one night, I probably would just use this. And then, you know, moisturizer and that's it. But um, the way that I do it is I use this to, to remove my makeup as like a double cleanse. And then I got, this is a moisturizer. I was asking the pharmacist for a cleanser and I don't think she understood. <laughs> she didn't understand what I meant. And she gave me this moisturizer, which I was like, whatever, I'm gonna try this anyways. It says creme friache three in one plumping mask, 48 hour moisturizing cream, face and eyes. So. Yeah, that's what the label looks like. And I have tried it a couple times. It's very fragranced, though, is the only thing. So I decided maybe instead of using this on my face, I'm going to use this on my hands. So I'm just going to keep this in my purse as like a kind of a hand moisturizer. Then I also got another one of these. I cannot find this in the US. And when I did my like French pharmacy haul, since then, this is like one of my favorite things that I got, if not my favorite thing that I got from that haul, and I've been using ever since then, and I've been getting down to the last bit of it. So I'm so glad that I had this trip now where I could pick up another one. Um, this is it, it is from Aven. It is the cold cream, and it's this one that's like for your face, your body, your hands, and it has a picture of a little family there because it's just so gentle and like sensitive and very very hydrating i've been using this as my moisturizer on my face at night so after i double cleanse after my serums after my eye cream i put this on and then i go to bed and it's so good for your skin so yeah i got another one of those so hopefully this will last me until my next <laughs> trip to europe where i can grab another one but that was great and then this next product is outstanding this is a deodorant this is a natural deodorant so I'm gonna put the label on the screen here yeah so there it is I tried to look this up online and it does not look like we sell this in the US so I might actually text Jessica and ask her if she can pick up another one before she leaves for me because it is that good so I have been trying, I've, I switched to natural deodorant probably two, two years now at this point, but I haven't been able to find one that actually works for me and like works with my body because I am a person that sweats a lot. I don't know why, I just do. Um, and so like natural deodorant isn't as good at like stopping that because it doesn't have the, you know, whatever bad chemicals are in the normal deodorants. So it's been really hard for me to find one and I've tried like a gazillion different brands of it. But then when I got this, it actually works for me. Like I'm not sweating and I still smell good. So this was, I found this when I was on my way back from the Vatican. I was walking back. I like, I, I remember I couldn't get on the bus. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna walk the whole way back. I stopped, I did a little YouTube, um, like I was like, talking on my vlog and then before I crossed the bridge there was a pharmacy that I just stumbled upon I thought well it wasn't even a pharmacy it was more like a beauty store and I just went in there just because like on a whim 
I asked the woman in the store, do you have any natural deodorant? And she said yes, and she pointed me to a couple ones, and then this one, it was $18 for this. So like $18 for, de for a deodorant is a lot. But honestly, I really do think that this is worth it because it's just so nice and it actually works. Sorry, I feel like I've been going on and on about this, but if anyone else has been trying to switch to natural deodorant and it hasn't been working for you, maybe try this one if you can get your hands on it. So yeah, I was just completely shocked. It's a spray though is my only thing about it that's kind of annoying. Like you have to actually like spray it as opposed to roll it on, but whatever, worth it and it smells very nice too. Okay, and then lastly, I got some food stuff. So first of all, I brought Lyle back a bottle of wine. This is an organic wine from Puglia, and I thought that, hoped that he would like it, so I got him this. And then I got some olive oil and balsamic vinegar, because obviously you have to. We had a really nice day where, when we went to the farmer's market in Rome, we asked to try some olive oil and this guy that worked there was so nice to basically let us taste like all of the olive oils until we landed on our favorite ones and these are my favorite so i got this one it is olio extra virgin de olia i think that just means extra virgin olive oil but this is the brand right there and then i got this one it is a balsamic vinegar that is a like raspberry flavor and I thought that this was really good on salads and I have already put it on salads a couple times yesterday and the night I got back and it is very good. Jessica and I actually both got this one because we both liked it so much. And then the last thing I got is like an after dinner kind of a drink. It is a melon, crema de melon, melon like after you've had dinner just pour yourself a little basically like shot size of this it's not strong or anything it actually tastes very sweet it's like a dessert and it's delicious so i figured why not in case you want to find it but it looks like that and yeah that was it other things i did get a couple other gifts like i got jessica a gift um just like for letting me stay with her and stuff like that but I think that that's everything. Um, if I forgot anything, I'll mention it in my next vlog. Um, obviously, I'm going to continue doing the vlogs like this weekend and everything. So yes, I will see you again on Monday. But other than that, I guess that's the end of this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed, <laughs> not vlog, it's the end of this update video. So if you enjoyed it, definitely, of course, subscribe as always, if you haven't already. Um, really appreciate you guys that have subscribed already <laughs> and then of course check out the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram and hopefully I will see you guys next time okay <laughs> bye